Nisha. So I get asked so many times, how do I, what do I do? How do I apply under eye concealer to stop it creasing? Okay, first of all, it's not always the concealer concealer's fault. It's not that your concealer is creasing, you have wrinkles. And unfortunately, if the surface is not all smooth, things will settle into your wrinkles. Um, I'm not a professional, but I show you how I do it and how I make sure that my concealer and powder settle into my wrinkles as little as possible. But you cannot avoid it. If you've got fine lines under your eyes, things will get into those crevices. You can't avoid it. <laughs> so stop blaming concealer, blame your wrinkles. Um, i show you in a minute uh, my wrinkles. I don't think they are that bad right now. And I think it might be as well that when I had the fillers about six months ago, I think they've plumped up this area under my eyes. Therefore, the wrinkles maybe are not so visible because they are not so dehydrate my skin is not so dehydrated because obviously the filler is hyaluronic acid so um let me show you my wrinkles i never put foundation under my eyes because i know i am going to use concealer anyway and i feel like it's too much that you can cake it on a bit if you do foundation and then the concealer so uh, let me show you my wrinkles under my eyes i don't think they are that bad but i have them I smile <laughs> okay first of all you want to make sure that you moisturize under your eyes because obviously if you have dry skin anywhere everything will cake up uh, use any of your eye cream so if you don't believe in eye creams your your regular uh, moisturizer whatever I always use the banish puffy eye cream so make sure that this area is moisturized i mean i obviously would have done it before my foundation and everything but as i'm demonstrating this i wanted to show you so pat it in pat it in well and wait for it to sink in okay now the concealer doesn't matter which concealer you use whichever one you like um, I like lots of concealers, but my favorite for a while now has been the uh, Tarte tar, um, Shape Tay Concealer and that's what I use. So let's do one eye at the time. So you can do it two ways because I am using this Shape Tape. It's quite thickish concealer. Um, I always apply it, pat it in with a damp beauty sponge and not very, very wet, damp because that will ensure that the concealer is patted in very well and it's not too cakey. If you are using a um, much more thin concealer, then use your finger and really, really pat it in with your finger because the warmth from your finger will help the concealer to melt in. So let's do one eye at a time. Okay, now what you want to do is make sure that your wrinkles, that your skin is stretched. So while you're patting that concealer in, um, the concealer smooths over the wrinkles. It doesn't get inside those crevices, if you know what I mean. So you can pull your skin slightly, you know, I lift my upper, you can do this just any way you can. I always put my concealer on my eyelid as well instead of eyeshadow primer and keep working it in. Don't rub it in. I think rubbing is the worst when it comes to applying concealer, even if you do it with your finger, pat it in. Okay. Now take the powder, make sure that your powder is very finely milled, loose powder. I like the Kat Von D um, translucent powder or I like the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Take a brush, load it with powder, tap it off, 
start a bit lower down so the most of the powder goes lower down and just press it in and also you can still stretch that skin I don't do it because I don't feel I have that many lines what well, I do but you know what I mean if you've got lots and lots of lines and that's it so now let me zoom in and compare and you will see so there is the difference when I smile I feel that you do see them more because you have product that you can't avoid it okay, let's do the other eye and I'm going to do my nose because I haven't done my nose today and I always put concealer on my nose I have a video, old video, about baking for mature skin, does it work? And I basically explain the same thing there and I do it, I think, with my finger. So if you want to go and see that video, I will link it here. Um, and also, I was doing baking, which is applying loads of powder and letting sit there. And you can see if that made any difference to the wrinkles. Okay, so that's what I do. Sometimes I will set my makeup with something like MAC Fix Plus and that will help bring the moisture to your under eye. Not too much, obviously. So do it before you've done your eye makeup. Like now, spray your face with Fix Plus, fan it a bit so you get some moisture. Another thing I can recommend is if you have very dry dehydrated skin, use maybe the by Terry Hyaluronic um, Hydro Powder. So this powder has hyaluronic acid, so it's not as drying. I don't use it as much under my eyes because it is very white and I, I'm not, I prefer my powder to be more like a skin tone. But I do, do use it sometimes if I feel my eyes are, uh, under eye area is particularly dry. So my conclusion is, yes, you will still see the fine lines. You can't help it, you can't hide it, you know. Uh, we are not 20 anymore. But, so what? I'd rather see a bit of those lines that have, as you've seen me, without, uh, without the concealer, all these discolorations and, you know. So, um, my advice is, if you have a lot of fine lines, and quite deep fine lines, moisturize your under eye area really well and use thinner concealer um like i really like the bourgeois cc cream for example um but then if you have loads to cover that might not cover your eyes it's very very tricky at our age to have it all and we can't have it all so by use a thinner concealer what you also can do if you if you use foundation that is quite thin in consistency like for example the shiseido that i use is quite watery it's quite thin it's not very cakey it's not full coverage foundation you can apply that as you do in your face with whatever you have left you can apply that under your eye but then forget the concealer i just feel that if you put foundation and concealer on there that's too much product and that might prevent cake um made it cake. and that can make it cake more uh, go light on a powder i mean if you do baking and if you watch that video i've shown the difference and i don't think baking makes it much more wrinkly looking but anyway if you overdo on powder spray it with some sort of uh, moisturizing spray just very light mist make sure you get it like under your eyes blow dry it a bit well blow dryer so it all melts together and that might help i've heard people saying that throughout the day they um apply some sort of oil a facial oil dab it under the eyes that's never worked for me i felt that that disturbed the um concealer but there are all sorts of um, tricks that people use and you know 
different things work for different people so please if you have any tricks for that leave it in the comments because i love it when you engaged with each other in the comments and give each other advice you know like i said before i don't know everything i just show you how i deal with my skin and uh, and how i do stuff so have realistic expectations like i said we can't have it all you can't have nice even color under your eyes and no wrinkles showing just embrace them that's the only thing you can do um but yeah that's how i do it and um, i hope you found it helpful thank you so much for watching um, and i see you soon and remember to watch that other video bye